Hello everyone, welcome to Monkey Fish Channel. In today's video, we're going to do self-defense experiment. A lot of people like to say that eye poke is a one shot that you're going to end fight very quickly just by simple eye poke. But in my opinion, it's not that easy to poke somebody in the eye and we're going to try this. So the rules of this experiment is I'm going to have a safety uh, goggles on me and my opponent's going to have a normal MMA gloves and we're just going to put some lipstick on the fingers so I'm going to see when they're going to hit my eyes and I'm going to count it when they hit directly to my eyes, not around it. If you look for the real self-defense scenarios from the security cameras, those people in the real street fight sometimes cannot hit the head. So head is like, I don't know, 50 times bigger than eye. So I think it's more difficult to do it. So we're going to do two rounds each. First round is more like a duel that we both agree to fight each other. And the second round is that I'm going to start fight when I feel like I want it. Go. Before we go any further, I would like to tell you that this video is not about proving that eye pokes are bad. I don't think like this. I just think that many people who say I will just do eye poke and fight is over. I just want to show you that it's not that easy how you think it is. It's not easy to do eye poke when somebody want to hit you back. The first round is over. I can still see everything, but I don't yeah. know. It was close. Probably if uh, if this was the thumb, then maybe he could go to my eye, maybe. I don't know. Let's clean it so we have a new. <laughs> yeah. Second scenario was that I just he was just talking and then and then I just attack him. I hit him a few times before he react. And this is how normal self-defense would look like. Because I am the attacker, I am more ready than him. So he get a hand on my face, probably he could sneak fingers to my hand and actually also believe that eye pokes or the fingers of the eye work better in this situation because you are close and you can easier found the eye than from this thing and he did it he come close and he go like this so he would find my eyes because he took out my took uh, my uh, goggles from my face so this is why we finish this round okay yes
So I get my hits on my glow, uh, my goggles, probably on my face also, and everywhere around. But I also hit many times his face. <laughs> That's for sure. And sometimes one punch is completely enough to finish the fight. If your main plan is to put fingers to somebody's eyes, you have to also think about that he's going to punch in you at the same time. So you should not think that this is your only plan, this is the option. Don't put this game on only one card. You need to have a fun of the cards in your game of self-defense. Okay, next round. was different, he take me down and I also give the back right away when he put his hands on my face and take me down I give up because then he would just put fingers like this to my eyes so this is why I just give up because this is probably how it would end up the situation and it was interesting it was really violent <laughs> a little bit safe but violent and yeah one thing uh, to mention is perhaps like we just talked about before. Now that we make this scenario, we obviously know what's gonna happen. So there's no surprise element. And I know you're going to tell me that I was so good with protecting my eyes because I knew that they're going to eye poke me. But the truth is that I was just protecting my face. And it's not my fault that my eyes are on my face. And actually it was easier for them because they could react faster because they knew what we are doing. So. This could be like this, no time for reaction. I've seen this many times in sparring where the opponent is not ready. I don't usually poke because that's too dangerous. But I like to like keep the distance. And I can see sometimes that it could work. I'm not saying on the street it will work. But now, because we have talked about it, the surprise element is not there. And therefore, it is not the same percentage for success as it would be in a real life scenario. But you have to remember that not always verbal aggression is before first strike because from where I come from normally first you get hit in your face and then if you are still standing then maybe the verbal aggression will start. Normally you just fight. Like Damien said don't rely on eye pokes. It's also you know because he was focused about the eye pokes he forget about his legs. Yeah. He is actually a very good kicker and he didn't kick me at all in this. <laughs> uh, this sparring and actually this, we just train here we train with a simulation demonstration this is not even close to violent what you could see in the real fight this is just a, you know training so normally it would be like really huge swings <laughs> not like here like a like a sports type of the would not look like this fighting is not pretty so that is it thank you for watching see you next time